Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If your dream is to become a data analyst or a data scientist, cracking an NSQL interview is very important stage for attaining your dream. Myself, MLU Prasad, I'm mentor for data science and analytics. I can help you achieve this dream by explaining all the various questions asked in the top companies which are available at the LeetCode platform. All my code solutions for the questions which are available in the LeetCode platform are there in my GitHub repository. The link for that repository is available in the chat description below. And also, I have segregated my channel videos into five different playlists, uh, namely Easy, Medium and Hard, and all the premium questions into Premium. And I have combined all of them into one single playlist and I have ordered by sequence. Okay, let's see the question which we are trying to solve right now. It is type easy question number 1581 customers who visited but did not make any transaction let's go to lead code yeah okay it is also asked in Amazon there are two tables visit table and transaction table okay visit ID is the primary key for this table okay the customer who visited and when he visited okay Next thing is transaction ID is the primary key for this table. Okay. The table contains okay transaction. Okay. We need to combine this table to this table using visit ID. And if the visitor has made any transaction or not, we can see in this transaction. Okay. And if you have done any purchases, this there in this amount. Now what they are telling? Write an SQL query to find the IDs of the users who visited without making any transactions. Okay. And the number of times they made this type of visits. Okay. Return the table in any order. Let's see the table. Okay, let's see it one minute. Okay, okay. let's see this. These two tables are joined using visitor in visitor ID, means these two columns. Okay. Let's see for the customer ID 23. Okay. His visitor ID is 1. Is the visitor ID available here? Okay. He has come here and he made a purchase. Okay. Let's see for the customer ID 9. Okay. His visitor ID is 2. Okay. He also visited this country and made some transaction. Okay. Now next one is whom? 30. Is 30 ID is visitor 4. Is the 4 available here? Not available. Okay. Null. Next customer is whom? 54. 54 visitor ID is 5. Is 5 available here? Yes. And uh, just a minute. Yeah, he has come twice. Now let's see the next thing. Customer ID 96. With visitor ID 6, let's see whether 6 is there or not. Uh, it is not there. Yes, it is there for that. And for again for 96, it is 6. So for 96 also, this column, it is null. Let's round it off where it is null. This is null here and again here 30 null here. Okay. Now let's again go to this 54. 54 again customer ID is 7. If you can see there is no 7 in this table. Again this is null. Okay. Okay. 4, 5, 4, 6, 7 are null. Again for the last row 54. 54 ID is 8. 8 is not there here. 
again it is null okay so there are four ids where it is null let's remove them okay so what we have done is if you do left join wherever it is not matching we will get some null values so we are getting for this throw this thing mm, where is this one sorry not this one we got it for 430 754 754 and 96 right these are the four columns which are not matching means no transaction are done now let's group by this customer ID if you see 30 is there how many transactions are done only one 96 is there how many transactions it has done only one transaction by visitor IDs and after that we can see 54 is there how many transactions there are two transactions which is not done so one one two this is what the table is saying so what we need to we need to do the left join and we need to take only the non matching rows which is which means they are non transaction rows after that we need to do customer id grouping and we need to count that let's write the code for that from visits a left join because we want non matching rows left join transactions b on a dot what is the common key visits visit id equal to b dot visit id okay we have joined them now what we want only non matching conditions let's say that a b dot visit id is null okay then it will return this table with this non matching rows okay after that what we need to do we need to group by which column customer id and we need to select customer id and count of the visits as count number I'm writing it is because they are given this alias name to give for that count thing trans let's run it uh, what is the mistake a dot visit ID okay they mean a dot there are two tables Yeah, it got accepted let's submit it yes all the test cases has been successfully satisfied thanks for watching my video if you want more detailed explanations like this please subscribe to my channel and share it with your study partners just be disciplined complete all the videos which are there in my playlist just don't give up on your dreams keep hustling keep learning just achieve your dream